Hello everybody and welcome back to another edition of Top 10 with Alex. Today we have a special guest chef, Emily. Hello Alex, it's nice to be with you today. Today, we are going to be making the first item on our list of Top 10 easy and interesting meals, shakshuka. Thought to have originated in Tunisia, this breakfast recipe is popular in many parts of North Africa and the Middle East. So, without further ado, I'll turn it over to Emily. Hi there everybody, are you ready to try something new and delicious? How about making shakshuka? It's a flavorful and satisfying dish that's easy to prepare, even if you're new to cooking. And when we are done, hopefully it will look something like this. Before we start, let's look at the basic equipment you will need. The list is short. A stove top, sharp knife, a skillet with a lid, a tablespoon and large spoon, and I always recommend having oven mitts at the ready. To make shakshuka, you'll need some basic ingredients like olive oil, onion, garlic, red bell pepper, canned diced tomatoes, cumin, paprika, salt, and pepper. You also need some eggs and fresh parsley to garnish, if you have it. First, heat the olive oil in a large skillet over medium heat. Add the diced onion and sauté until it becomes soft and translucent. Sauté is just a fancy word meaning to fry quickly in some fat, in this case the oil. This should take about 5 minutes. Then, add the minced garlic and diced red bell pepper, and sauté for another 5 minutes. Next, add the canned diced tomatoes, cumin, paprika, salt, and pepper. Stir everything together to combine and bring the mixture to a simmer. Once it's simmering, use a spoon to create for wells or indentations in the sauce. This is where you'll add the eggs. Crack an egg into each well or indentation and then cover the skillet with a lid. Let everything cook for about 5 to 10 minutes or until the egg whites are set but the yolks are still runny. This is the key to a good shakshuka, the egg yolks should be runny so that they mix with the sauce and create a delicious and creamy texture. Once everything is cooked, garnish with some fresh chopped parsley, if you have it, and serve with bread or pitter. And there you have it, a tasty and satisfying shakshuka that's easy to make and perfect for any meal. Enjoy! Thank you, Emily. That looks delicious. A full list of ingredients, together with cooking instructions, are included in the video description. Please like and subscribe. 